Ukrainian forces spared the life of a Russian soldier when he surrendered to a drone on the battlefield just moments before its operators were about to open fire, a Ukrainian commander has confirmed to. Drone footage from a unit of Ukraine's 92nd Mechanized Brigade, published by the Wall Street Journal, shows the surrender taking place in a trench in the eastern city of Bakhmut in May. Commander of the Assault Drone Division, Achilles, of the 92nd Brigade, confirmed the surrender had occurred. When he realized that he was going to die, he threw his machine gun aside, raised his hands and said that he would not continue to fight. At that time, we had a copter with explosives ready to eliminate him. But since the enemy threw away his weapon and gestured that he was going to surrender, it was decided to give him an order to surrender. The video appears to show a Russian soldier running from Ukrainian assault drones in the trenches of the Bakhmut battlefield. The soldier then stops and attempts to communicate with the drone through hand gestures. The pilot dropped a note to the soldier telling him to follow the drone if he wanted to surrender, according to the Wall Street Journal. Footage appears to show the soldier following the drone, dodging a mortar along the way. Upon arriving at a Ukrainian position, the soldier reportedly dropped to his knees and removed his helmet and flak jacket. Ukrainian forces took him into their custody, loaded him into a Humvee truck, and he was later brought to a detention facility in the Kharkiv region, the paper reported. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Russian soldier and former prison marshal was working as a liquor store manager before he was drafted in September last year. Before being sent to Bakhmut, he said he had performed guard duties and built fortified positions in Luhansk. The eastern city of Bakhmut, toward the northeast of the Donetsk region, has seen some of the fiercest fighting of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and is a key part of Kiev's counteroffensive. The months-long battle has been compared to the kind of fighting seen in World War I with soldiers fighting in muddy trenches dodging artillery fire, and has been described by the head of the Russian. <laughs> Wagner mercenary group as a meat grinder, one of the Ukrainian army's newest and most controversial brigades claimed it swept Russian troops from a key defensive position south of Bakhmut late last week. The 3rd Assault Brigade's troopers rushed Russian trenches on the western bank of the Donetsk Donbass Canal, which threads north to south through eastern Ukraine's Donbass region and anchors Ukrainian defenses around the ruins of Bakhmut. The Russian Army's 57th Motor Rifle Brigade had a toehold on the far side of the waist-deep canal, until the 3rd Assault Brigade reportedly dislodged the Russian Brigade during a close-quarters trench battle that was like something in World War I. Colonel Andrei Beletsky, the 3rd Assault Brigade's commander, announced the unit's tactical victory in a video on or before Sunday. The Ukrainians claimed they killed 30 Russians and captured 10 prisoners. It's unclear how many casualties the 3rd Assault Brigade suffered. Some 3rd Assault Brigade troopers went into battle wearing small video cameras on their helmets. Their videos depict a harrowing fight, as 3rd Brigade infantry teams rush into Russian trenches. Shouting to be heard over gunfire and explosions, the Ukrainians work together to clear dugouts in which Russian soldiers are hiding. Their tactics are familiar ones, if difficult to master. Taking turns covering each other, small teams of Ukrainian infantry advance along the trench network, shooting around corners and tossing grenades into dugouts. The Ukrainians can be heard giving Russian holdouts a chance to surrender before grenading them. Not necessarily out of mercy but because Russian prisoners are a kind of currency with which Kiev can buy the freedom of Ukrainian prisoners being held in Russia. 
To be very clear, Nazis neither govern Ukraine nor dominate its armed forces. But it's true that far-right volunteer groups have fought on the Ukrainian side since Russia first attacked Ukraine in 2014. One of these groups, the Azov Battalion, ultimately evolved into the Azov Regiment, which operates under the banner of the Ukrainian National Guard. The army back in December peeled off the regiment's Special Operations Battalion and formed the 3rd Assault Brigade around it. All that is to say, the 3rd Assault Brigade is a third-generation descendant of the far-right Azov Battalion. Time alone has diluted the Azov unit's far-right ideology. And the Ukrainian government has subjected each generation to a deliberate process of depoliticization that has included the induction and training of new recruits and the replacement of key leaders.